Hello folks, got another kit for you today. It's another uh, kit from Tamir, 135 scale. It's a Ford GPA amphibious vehicle, 4x4. Um, basically what that means, amphibious, if for people that don't know, it's a hybrid between a car and a boat. So you can float on the water and then get on land and drive off. Uh, it's a 2013 kit, been around a while now. Licensed by Ford. Um, got this sorry, the box art. There's the kit number 336. A little bit of engine detail. You get some further etch. Let's have a look what we get inside the box. So, what we get inside the box. A uh, sheet about history, instruction manual, some decals, and your photo etch. Three bags of sprues, which is the whole of the vehicle, some crew figures, and your clear, some weapons and tools and hats and equipment, wheels, upper hull. Uh, interior floor and stuff you get this paint uh, conversion thing for Tamiya it's converting their cans over to the bottles um, don't really need to know any of that take a look at the uh, hole Tamiya with the crappy staples So one piece cast hole, normally there's one piece, nicely detailed, and as usual from Tamir, the kits are pretty good. Kits should go together quite quickly, be a very small quick build. We have this sprue here contains the wheels, nicely detailed on the wheels. Unfortunately, they are hard plastic, same as the rest of the kit. There is a little bit of seam on the wheels, a little bit of a sanding just to take that out. These are the uh, caps to go on the on the other side of the wheels. Um, you've got some seats, ejection pins going to have to be taken care of, which is a bit of a shame. There's your instrument panel um, you've got your drive sprockets your um, your box bits um, uh, and this tube is where the uh, propeller goes for the uh, drive shaft for the um, amphibious part there's your little propeller Steering wheel, uh, some sp springs, a nice detail. <clears throat> this one contains the tools and equipment and guns. So, we have a, a Thompson machine gun. Uh, the helmets, gun pouches, ammo pouches, some agents, knives, this, uh, I suppose they would be bayonets maybe, or just normal combat knives, little spades are they, I think they are, um, is that a carbine rifle, I'm not quite sure, um, the American rifle, is that a M1 Grand, I'm not sh quite sure. Um, the rifles again, this one here has got a grenade launcher on it, some grenades, some more pouches, water bottles, some more spades, there's some equipment.
Yeah, clear. Typical for Tamir. Their clear is pretty good. I'm not going to take this out of the bag because I'm going to get scratched up. Um, we have this sprue of the figures of the uh, soldiers or GIs. They're probably known as. Well, I'm not really going to paint the, D the figures because I'm no good at painting them. But I will use equipment. Um, parts of the engine. A little bit of detail on the engine. There's the engine um, cover, radiator, fan. There's your decal sheet with the stars, instrument panels, some warnings. They're, they're unfortunately, the warnings are just uh, just straight lines, no actual writing, but it still would work. Nicely done. A little bit of follow etch by Tamir. For the grills, that's nicely done as well. A little bit of history on the uh, vehicle, that's in Japan, in China. There's the one in English. If you wish to read the uh, history, pause the video. Some drawings, what parts of what on the vehicle. Uh, nice photo. Your worksheet. The colours down the bottom by Tamir. Um, they're asking for the TS5, which is the can, but the conversion to the bottles is the FX62 olive 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 colour. Tools were needed but we all know this anyway so you'd be starting off with your um the undercarriage part suspension and the uh, drive drive train bits um then it's the uh, drive train for the uh little propeller for the actual amphibious section part of it it's a pull out page Number three, be working on the underside again, lights, more drivetrain, um, and stuff. The upper section would be the crab, some seats, spare wheel, more lights, interior detail on the cab. Um, what I do is do the seats last, but put everything on because it's all going to be the olive colour, so just put everything else in apart from the seats and just paint it and then put the seats in last. Bench seat going in, you have to do that last that's a different colour. That's F eh, sorry, XF49 is khaki colour. So I'll do that last. Uh, working on the engine if you wish to uh, have it displayed, or otherwise don't bother because you're just going to put your engine cover on top. That's the engine. Putting the grills on, which goes over the front, exhaust system. All that goes on the inside, you're not going to see any of that, unfortunately. Flipping it around the other side and putting the covers on. And we've got eight. <clears throat> Drop in the, uh, the top hole on top of the uh, lower hole where the engine is. Um, this is the back cushion, so that go on last because that's in khaki colour because that's a cushion for the seat um, wheel rims 
lights, tires coming together, instrument panel, putting all your wheels on, dropping that all down on top, putting your windshield in, having it flat or you can have it up, tools, um, you can have the engine deck open, so now, now I know you can have your engine deck open, I might actually do that. Doing your uh, GIs, if you're going to paint them. Finished model. And your colours, as I say, it's just one typical olive drab army colour. Nothing special, put your stars on. A little bit of wash and weathering, and the job's a good one. A little bit of history. So there you go guys, a little kit today, Ford GPA Amphibious Vehicle from the US Army. Hey Liz, like, comment, subscribe and I'll catch you next time.